today I'm gonna start on my last painting for my vampire series. This is my digital sketch for reference. I'm gonna start out with this blue strokes. And by the way, I am Monica, Korean Danish artist, mainly doing paintings and drawings, focusing on dark themed art. Last Sunday, I went to a little witch market, primarily to visit Miriam, who had a little art stand there. You could get anything from art to tarot cards, clothing, ointments, crystals. I found some lip balm there. It's like all natural, very oily, smells really nice. Bergamot, I think this one is. I also got this uh, ointment for the face, frankincense and myrrh. It's made of avocado and chia butter and cocoa butter, apparently. It smells very organic, very natural. I haven't really used a lot of cream beforehand, but I sort of wanted to get into that a bit since I am not super young anymore. <laughs> I want to take care of myself, take care of my skin. And uh, I think probably pretty good to use uh, organic, all natural ingredients sort of stuff. So I'm gonna try that out. I wonder if it's dry now, I'll check it and then start sketching. This is how far I got today. Uh, it's really difficult to see the colors correctly when it's this indoor light, but I'm really happy about the progress. Gonna continue tomorrow. Good morning. I just made myself a cup of coffee and I'll slowly start continuing with my vampire painting from yesterday. Looking back on my vampire painting series, it has been a bit of an artistic challenge for me. I recently returned to using vivid colors and explore a slightly different style. And while it's been exciting to express my vision in a sort of a new way, it has also caused me to question my approach um, along the way. I've often pushed myself with setting up exhibitions where I had to make new artworks within a specific uh, time frame. And therein lies the risk of ending up with paintings I'm not entirely satisfied with. And if you want to experiment in a new style, the chances of you being satisfied are even slimmer now. And so in this case, I decided to paint over two paintings. Um, that I wasn't uh, satisfied with and start completely from scratch with the new motifs. That did feel a bit daunting, but now I am so happy with my choice. I am also happy that I went all in with the colors and the style. Uh, it's, it's such a fun combination of um, pop art, manga aesthetics in in this context of this mythological dark creature and the symbolism of what the vampire embodies. As for this upcoming exhibition, my vampire series will be on display at Bankerod, a restaurant bar in Copenhagen with the opening set for October 5th and running for a month.
I made two full trays plus I made for me and my boyfriend to eat for today. Mm. Oh my gosh, it just exploded, look! on my arm as well be careful with that Ooh, I ate everything everything I have a really bad hangover today my friend came over and we were having this uh, Polish vodka that I got from when me and my boyfriend went to Krakow. So we all had pierogies and vodka and wine and uh, it was too much, way too much for me. You know these times when you get these hangovers that just makes you go, I don't want to drink anymore ever again. But I've been lying in the bed for way too long and I have been completely useless all day. I think I'm just gonna eat some food. Maybe I'll edit some photos. I still have such a headache. I just went to the supermarket to grocery shop a little bit. And at a certain point, I was not sure whether I was going to throw up at the supermarket. But no accidents happened. Got home and I actually feel a little better, but still not great. My hangover cravings were apparently Danish liverpostai, which is uh, liver pate with these cucumbers and uh, blueberries. I I visited Christina's pop-up exhibition for her poetic comic scene named Small Pots Have Ears Too. In this, she tells the local ghost story of Inunaki village, uh, a place that was abandoned long ago and now it's beckoning for new life through mysterious phone booth calls. to Galerie Earn to pick up some frames. Um, I'm gonna get some frames for these art prints that I got made uh, last week. <laughs> it's getting cold now. Summer is over.